Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Black Atlas Radio. Uh, we are post Vegas in this post video. Vegas. We uh, we took a, a trip a couple weeks ago, but we're back now, and we have a special guest with us here. Uh, very special guest. Not a lot of people come up here with multiple talents, but uh, we have a special special. Um, Cage, I don't know what the word is, but you can go ahead and, and introduce yourself to that camera right there. What's going on? It's your boy Scorpion, the dancing CIK, the dance ambassador. We here, man. We vibing. Good vibes. I'm excited. Right. So what does, for those out there who are unfamiliar with your work, the dance MC, that, that, those two things coexist with each other, right? You're not, right. would you say you're one more than the other or... Is it kind of just both play equal part? Both. It's both. My dancing kicked off first. Oh, okay. So the uh, the dancing kicked off first. So I I put the music kind of on the uh, on the back burner. All right. And then when the uh, when I got to a certain level in my brand of dancing, mm -hmm. then I started focusing on the music. Like six years ago, I've been rapping since I was a kid though. But doing like the real groundwork has been like a good like six years. Nice. Yeah, you gotta. Um, I'm gonna say though, your voice in particular is really nice. When I was w watching your uh, Jimi Hendrix video, uh, man. I like the style of the way you like. You actually utilize your voice in a way that like it's it's might Thank sound you. weird, but like you could scream and get loud, and it'll actually like sound good in the tone of your voice. You know. What I mean? <laughs> Thank like, you. I appreciate that. Most people like it's kind of hard to like. I feel like they're kind of monotone and you do a good job of like raising your voice I noticed it like it doesn't sound like you're trying too hard it seems natural when you're like getting those higher pitches I appreciate that as well so how long have you been love. dancing you said six years of dancing or is nah, that I've like been, since a child too nah I've been dancing for over a decade I've been dancing for over a decade professionally but I started as a kid like anybody else listening to Michael Jackson right. watching Usher whoever right being, of course being, being inspired yeah <laughs> yeah I might but um uh, it was a turf dancer named Skywalker because you know in the bed we do turf dancing yeah right. so uh Thanks. one of the original um turf dancers Skywalker or now it's my teammate which is crazy because we on the same team but the Animaniacs oh uh, okay the the pioneers like uh, the, the, the turf dancing? Yeah, so it was the Architects first. Okay. Architects was the first turf dancing group. And okay. then when they broke off, they right. credited the Animaniacs. Okay. So a lot of um the innovators on my uh is on my team. That, That's what's that up. started turf dancing. That's good to learn from, huh? So, yeah. How so is like, it like my bad for interrupting? No, 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 you're good, uh, you're good. How is it being around like that type of environment? Like people Man. who are, are like been from since the beginning, basically. It's an honor. Really, to to be a part of something that like helped change your life. You can travel the world, and right? Being able to like That's battle amazing. and compete, to That's be on the same amazing. team as the pioneer. Shout out to A One. You know what I'm saying? The Godfather of turf dancing who started in West Oakland. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Zeus. That's my mentor. You know what I mean? Um, Dav. So it's it's so it's so many. Yeah, That's Skywalker, Deontra. D nice, love you, sis. How far has dancing yeah. got you? Do you think? Like, do you think how far? Where have you gone with dancing? Like, how uh, do you travel to? Yeah, I've been. Let me see. I did the George Lopez Tonight Show. Oh shit! Did that. Swear to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, cool. I'm gonna put that up for you. Whoa! I, uh, I had headline that show because I was on So You Think You Can Dance season eight. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. And then George Lopez had um seen me from So You Think You Can Dance season eight. Actually, my uh my OG he uh, hit me. It was like, um, they talking about you or whatever. You need to get in contact with him ASAP. So I just reached out. I blew up his uh, his uh, assistant and all that. Uh -huh. and they flew me out in like two weeks. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. I thought you get shit done, though. I, you do that, I mean, you email that shit. Feeling, you know, I Make felt, sure you like, get felt like Puff or something for the day. <laughs> 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 he had a car out there for like an all-black Lincoln. My name had fed me lunch. Then oh, I had lunch. Oh, and shit. And that's when I learned the game, too. Like, okay. Uh, he uh, he gave me the nickname the human insect. So like being a contortionist. So when I was contorting my body, you know, cool dude dressed up as super cool dude. He was just like, you know, making fun of me or whatever. Like on some comedian fun type. Yeah, stuff. not like so trying to kill you some shit. His his uh his uh his team that was like, what's your stage name? I'm like Scorpion, and they was like, okay, you know, I mean they 
they was like, okay, cool or whatever. But then they was like, man, we gotta, we gotta have, you know, I, I feel like you can, it can be some more to, be you, some more to your you. name. Okay. So, you know, they, they knew I did the contortion stuff or whatever. So they uh, added the human insect. By the way, I dance. So when he uh-huh. announced me, the scorpion, human, Jamani, you know me, insect or whatever. But they was telling me like, so we got like our checks. They have flaws some people from London. It was me, and then um, what's the girl that played on the George Lopez TV show? Maria that played Maria on the Maria. the original George Lopez oh. TV show with him and his kids. They used to air on TV. His, it, was, it, was, it was his wife who played his wife. I don't know her I name. I can't remember her, her name. Angela. It's Angela. It is Angela. But is she, Angela. she, she, she was there. It was like Andy Milanakis. It was Woo! like a bunch of That's like cool. famous <laughs> people. Yeah, this is another so a bunch of cloud fucking people. Arlo outside. So it's like um, a bunch of cloud. The people from London, and there was some other people they flew out. So they all they all pay this, and I'm they're like discussing what they got paid. I'm looking my pay. My pay was more than their pay. Ooh. That's and crazy. I was trying to figure out, like, why. Like, I was trying to see what the difference was. Like, they came all the way from London. I'm thinking they finna get breaded. Yeah. Right. But his team was breaking down how, like, how your bag go up. Yeah, is, is that how long you're on TV for? Because I had a TV placement. Oh, okay. They had to pay me more. That's so that's up. kind of how my first experience of, like, business and how to get paid and right. branding and stuff like make oh sure because I, I was on a sure TV show they gotta pay you more anything you do TV pays. like that <laughs> a lot more than a lot of big people think yeah, so it's gotta be on my TV um, so yeah like that 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 was an honor so like I learned a lot of from that did So You Think You Can Dance I did a commercial for Adidas that I aired overseas I've been to Hawaii damn um, they, LA they take New York places, Jersey man. Would you rather consider that then? Or is it just like, is it like you would rather just keep going with that or you just like add rapping on top of it? Oh, it's both. I know it's both, it's but both. like if, if dancing, because it's already taken off for you, like yeah. if you just keep going or do you think the rap is going to like get in the way of that? I think it's going to help. It's going to help? That okay. is true. There's I not a lot of people help. who are like both. embracing both. It's well. not, yeah. ain't nobody doing that. And, 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 right. and, and it's right. like with me, when I was trying to figure out, you know, like you, you vision stuff in your head, you're trying to figure out how to manifest it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rap and dance, cause you know it's five elements of hip hop. Well, technically five, from what KRS One would say. KRS One. You know, shout, shout out good, to the OG. That's a good quote. Hey, but, but you got, you know, graffiti, break dance, MCing, you know, DJing, and, and right? DJing, right? So, it's, but uh, the dancing. Or graffiti, you know, some of the other mm-hmm. elements don't really get glorified in the in the industry as much. Sure. It's more so just about the MC. It used to be and, more DJ. It used, it used to be, be the more, most popular. It used to thing. be more That's about crazy. the DJing, the graffiti, you know, break dancing. Some of the more first elements of hip hop okay. MC came a little bit later. It wasn't right. one of the first. That's true. Right. So it's like, but the That's dance right. industry, how it is, is like for for what I do. Like we since we battle, I'm like you know we dance battle. There's not an industry really for that. Mm-hmm. So I figure my, I got a shout to WD. I got to plug my dance company. You there know you what I'm saying? Man, but <laughs> by me having my own dance company, I'm working to create create the industry. So right. having having that mm-hmm. and using my dance platform, uh, my music, excuse me, my music platform right. to be able to bigger the dance platform that makes for sense. for street dancers. So that's why we did the the rap dance tour. Oh, I took. Shit. Uh, some of the street dancers from the culture and took them on tour. It wasn't my height. They wasn't my height, man. They wasn't like uh, behind me or nothing doing some, not disrespecting choreography, but they wasn't behind me. They had their own set. Right. Street dancers right. freestyle and they had a five right. minute set to shine and do their thing. Ain't nobody really, you know, doing nothing like, like trying to not embrace street dancers. Or, so I'm pretty much just right. trying to bring the elements back, but in, in a new era in my own way. Being able to rap at a high level and create dope music, mm-hmm. and being able to dance at a high level, and put those together and, and build one brand. Okay. So that's like dance, dance, MC. Where we at, Mike? So, sorry, we gotta check the time. I forget yours has a button. That's actually like a really interesting story because most of the time it's not. I don't want to say everybody has like a like. It's not as straightforward to like I want to do this. And I'm just trying to currently make it happen. But you, like, have a reason behind it. Like, there's a whole, like, there's a whole culture of people, like, the dancing scene that, like, isn't really being as, like, put on the spotlight as as much as, like, 
artists who can do both. Like, there's a lot. I'm sure there's a lot of artists who can a lot of sing, dance, channel. and rap, or rap and dance. Yeah. But mo like, of course, you only know them for the music that they put out or whatever. The music. They only they have one talent. Right. So, you talk about dance battling. Yeah. How many dance battles have you? Th do you think like have you ever like haven't been in like a televised dance battle or anything or? I haven't. I, I, have I been in a televised dance battle? Nah, nah. I don't think nah. Do they do those? I don't they, know. They actually they, like world of dance. Those aren't dance battles. Those they, are like, no, showcases. They, no, no. World of yeah. dance. They do dance battles too. Okay. World of dance do dance battles too. I know um, uh, somebody I know. Shout out to Retro. From in the back in, in back in the days, probably like what five six years ago, maybe yeah, probably like five six years ago, he was on America's Got Talent, and him and uh, Steps, shout out to Steps from Jersey, they have actually uh, battled on TV. Oh, I think okay. that's one of the first times I know I ever seen it on TV. On TV that's was crazy. on America's Got Talent. They had because they was both you know they're street both dancers, dancers, street so dancers. They, so they had them battle on that's TV. Cheating. <laughs> America's Got Talent is about your talent and you want to show it. So, I know dance battling like that, but so I was like, that's the first time I really seen it. But <laughs> okay, but yeah, we 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 from the corners, like the garages, off the park, the street. Okay, you know what I mean. We was battling, but now like you know we we building the brand and and uh, turfing or street dancing as a whole as evolved and right. now we're getting in professional more professional venues you know branding you know what i mean yeah. it, making it more of a, a professional thing so it get looked at how it's supposed to get looked at properly okay. so so how long would you say like approximately that you've been pushing this movement like officially with your group that you have currently for uh, five years oh okay five years it's going pretty strong five years and it's just now starting to i feel like people are starting to slowly catch they catching on don't somebody but, steal your movement, bro. That's oh, what I'm telling you. That's, 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 <laughs> no, and, that's, yeah, yeah. and that's one of the things I'm, TM, I'm, work, I'm working on right, now. We right, here right. here first. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know who started this You're thing. You know what I'm saying? That bitch, cause you feel when you heard it first. Because it's, 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 it's a lot of that first. now. Like, I, it, you know, I respect people being inspired. And ain't nobody really going to give you your credit or say oh, where they got not. it from. But, right. you know, that's why I'm doing all my branding and working on the copywriting and all that stuff done now. Always. It's, I mean... People are inspired by everybody. It's hard for people to stay like one hundred percent original. You might have like yeah. got inspired off of somebody's ideas, but like you were still like thinking about how they went about it. Like, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just like everybody does it in a way. It's yeah. hard not yeah. to be like yeah. You you study, all, you, I, we were inspired to do this. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. You know, it's never been nothing. Yeah. Something's always been done before you. But, but it's directly copy. Right. Yeah. Fuck out of here with that shit. Yeah, that's not hip hop. <laughs> <Direct fighting. fighting. laughs> like, Get the fuck example, out of here with that shit. <laughs> like, like, for example, y'all do podcasting. Joe Button, I feel like, inspired of a lot of people's podcasts. Uh, but, but you guys are creating your own formula. Yeah, we have our own dynamic. You got inspired, but y'all got yeah. your own vibe, your own Definitely. formula. So that's a whole different, you're not stealing. But right. when people just see what you're doing and oh. just copy everything <laughs> with you, it's like, nah, come on. It's man. crazy. But we doing that. I know. mean, you having a movement, though, has been great. What um, Who else is in your group that we might know? You said uh, the, all those OGs you went you named yeah. are well. I, I believe you're, like, you're, you're probably. I think you're like aff affiliated with the the Bliss dance group. Shout out to last. Oh uh, yeah, Bliss. We okay. know a lot of people. That's what's yeah, up. yeah. yeah. Know Fatty, Fatty, that's one of my OGs, man. That's one of my mentors. Oh okay. Yeah, man. Shout, shout out to Bliss, shout man. You've gone to a few of them events, bro. Really. Yeah, pretty nice. You've been to yeah. words and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Poetry times. Dope, cool. huh? Dope, intimate. It's, 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 it is real intimate very, sometimes. Very intimate. <laughs> there's this one. There's this one black guy who's out there like fucking the ground. Dancing. <laughs> they were, they were like children. <laughs> I don't remember that. Bro. You didn't go to this one, bro. Yeah, sometimes words can get X rated. Man. Yeah, it was a little X rated. I, mean, I was like, what's going on? Shout out to Vince for shout, shout out to Bliss. Pro pro propose. Like yeah, shout out to our boy Vince Kerrigan. He proposed Vince. to his girl. Was that? Oh, oh, that's nice. dope. Yeah, that was that's beautiful. Sorry, that's I didn't dope. make it. Sorry, I couldn't make it either. I was throwing up at my house. Yeah, I do remember that. Oh, though. That was it was on my birthday. <laughs> I was yakking. Anyways, uh, <laughs> bring it back. <laughs> yeah, back to the back to the subject at hand. So, um, uh, when you were out doing whatever, uh, I asked. He he mentioned he went to Fairfield High and he graduated in the class of '09. So, how would you say the the environment? From not maybe not even Fairfield High spe specifically, but like just Fairfield as a city. How would you say that has like had an impact on your dancing and like 
because a lot of people out here they there's a lot of musical artists and they're all Facts. different like Facts. we got a lot of diversity out here very what what is it about fairfield that like it's hard for me to see like a lot of people from fairfield wanting to like grow up and be a dancer like i'm just seeing how mm. how that like influence got to you from here we're kind of like isolated in the bay area a little bit yeah you know they don't want to give us our credit but since we speaking on that you know what i mean people forget rick rock is from here okay right from fairfield so soon he came he from he came from the south and then he he, he was out of here yeah. and he read fairfield and you know rick rock created the hyphy sound that's crazy did not know that yeah, Rick Rock created the Hyphy I didn't know that. He's produced for Jay Z, Buster Rhymes, oh, Snoop shit. Dogg, Redman. I keep naming them. But a lot of people yeah, don't crazy. mention Fairfield. Or not even just Fairfield, Hayward, Richmond, like smaller cities. Because uh, Oakland Pittsburgh. and San Francisco is like the mecca. That's where all the teams at, the marketing, right. the all the a lot of the culture, Black Panthers start, you know, all that. But yeah, okay. you know, Rick, Rick we were very a part of the music scene. Definitely. We definitely and what we created, you know. Part of it, but but the they not gonna the really feds. Federation. Hey. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Federation. Hey. So you know, being Rick Rock being from here, you know, a lot of people don't really want to speak on it, but he yeah, he's he's the innovator of the of the high fee music. People want to be like, ah, oh, you know what you talk about. Do your history. I'm telling you. you Frank Rock can tell you himself, man. Man, you can Google, Go Google that. From Fairfield. Go Google that. So, <laughs> that's usually like seven days you know. You know. <laughs> being from Fairfield, I just feel like we have to fight more. Because right. of that simple fact, we don't really, we get yeah, overlooked. We get or we yeah, don't get right. the credit or we're not, you know, it's nothing to, it's nothing proud of to be out here. So that's how people, I think, feel like, oh, it's nothing to be, you know, everybody else got Coliseums and right, but different, we don't need you, that. You, you know, people make it without Coliseums. You know, uh, you know our type of stuff. You know yeah. how it is. Everybody. We don't got nothing out here, but we're gonna build something out here one day. But but we we build we we working right now. We this got pod, too much. We podcast, got too much fucking the, land out yeah, here, Bill. For this shit, it's not we finna to change the whole thing. I'm so it's you. it's like it's so much talent out here, but I feel like people just get discouraged. But that's what inspired my dancing. Being from here, I feel like you get an extra different type of hustle when you right. You gotta, right. You gotta fight harder. Even when I was name. dancing, we ain't got no barks. You got to take two buses, get to Del Norte Bart in Richmond, <laughs> to get to San Francisco, yeah. Oakland, or head to Sac. So it would take have to train. really fight. You have to really fight for that. That's where all the battles was at. They was either going to be in Oakland, San Francisco, or Sacramento. They would right. they would drive right past. They didn't know what we had telling out here today. Met me as, hey, as me and Triple Threat. Put on for us. Me and Triple Threat. Triple Threat went the choreography route. I went more the street route. Right. They didn't. They didn't have no idea. Fair, if I bumping people all the time, we didn't even know. We didn't know fair. fair, fair we didn't even, yeah. For, yeah, like we didn't even know y'all had dancing. <laughs> right. Nothing. It's like nice. nah. We out here. It's just we out here. We out here. It's just <laughs> you, you know. Not. People just ain't catching on yet, but people. And I feel like uh, uh, something that plays like a big part of it out here in Fairfield is like you. You like notice people around you like who you've gone to school with or like people who are around your age level who are also like working on their shit yeah. and I feel like everybody sees that and they want to like they get inspired to work on their shit yeah. and we've had like over 30 different artists come on the show but like more than half of them from Fairfield who have talked about like eventually wanting to come back and like give back to Fairfield most and, yeah, definitely change it's it amazing. so most it's, all, it's like it's, a good it's inevitable place. eventually like it's a good place to have your heart to actually want to give it back that's crazy like, right. a lot of them want to do that that's and true. it's always good because they, they definitely don't have to that's for sure it's they easy definitely to don't have out to here and you never have to do anything back. you don't want to that's real but, talk uh, you don't about your music here what do you so far in your music career here? What are you most proud of? Like, what have you? I know I got to restart these in like two seconds. Uh, what no, are you no, most no. proud of? And let me restart them shit real quick. What are you most proud of so far in your music? And what what have you been working on here? Um, I probably have to say my proudest moment so far is actually going on tour. That's amazing. And not and a lot of people can say that. People can say that actually at this level. What level are you going to? Who are you going to with? Who is? I'm, well, I've been on well. So with the tour, um, I just had on my first tour uh, earlier this year in March. That's we. That's the first rap dance tour. Mm. So that's when I brought you know the homies Raw Future, awesome. Dopey Fresh. We did the rap dance tour. Yeah. But um, with 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 touring, how I did it? How I did it was like I was hopping on everybody else's tours, like local that's acts smart. that was 
you know, touring. You go around my, there. my manager would be like, you want to be the opener's opener? Oh, yeah. And I was <laughs> just op- be the opener's opener. And just, I'm just happy to just be on tour that and introduce sense. shows. Right. And, the, and, you know, was being the opener, just getting in where I fit in. So That's just perfect. being on tour and, like, seeing the world and, and meeting different people and different vibes, cool. it's a crazy experience. Not bad, man. I it's bet. That crazy. sounds crazy. That sounds like the so life, that's, honestly. That has to be the moment. Like, I've been to um, Nebraska. We went Ooh. to Nebraska and South Dakota this year. <laughs> nah, it's actually what? a lot of black people in <laughs> Nebraska, and I never would have thought that. Me either. <laughs> Ever. Ever. That's, that's crazy. That's the middle of the country. Yeah. What the fuck? Why and they they live out there, man. They super cool, man. Man, I'm trying to get to Nebraska. Nebraska, bro. man. It's no. cold as heck, but it was I dope. Bet. It was official, though. It was, it was actually the, one of the liveest shows out the whole tour. There you go, man. That's crazy. Nebraska. Nebraska. Ain't that crazy? That's crazy. Who'd you go on tour with? Um, it was it was myself, um, YDP. She's an artist from uh, artist from Richmond. Um, uh, who else did I bring on there? Uh, this boy named E. E. Uh, I think he's from out of San Francisco, I believe. And then I had um, two 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 of the dance homies. Right. And then what we did was two was we had got open and acts in East City. So whoever so had a local smart. buzz in the city. What had them do the shows? Bring their audience. Bring their audience. Let them headline. We'll go in the middle, even if it's my tour or not. Take try to take some of their fans. You know what I'm saying? Smart and and build. So we just just open this open and find out where we get in. You know, no vibing and everything. But pretty much to answer the question, yeah, just being on tour, it's just a different experience because a lot of people. Don't get to even travel outside the environment. Right. Not so, at all. Not at all. A lot of people don't know the what the world look like. Don't even know what the world look like. That's you know what I'm saying? So yeah. to see that, I'm like, a lot of people ain't left fair for you. I was just about to say, that's it, bro. It's like, that's that's crazy. crazy. There's a I'm lot of motherfuckers out here. You just walk. You see on the daily, like, yep. Every day, <laughs> you know, <laughs> feel. somebody know somebody you know. that know you from somewhere. Of somebody, yes. <laughs> it's you can't go nowhere in this city without like, like, oh fuck, you are back. As soon as you get to the mall, man, it's like, oh, you still don't go to the mall. Don't go to the mall because that's how it really. That's a pit of sadness at the mall. You're like, fuck. So, um. Kind of uh, going off of what you asked, it, it made me think, do you, would you say you, you still keep like an ear to the local artists around the Bay Area in general, maybe not even just Fairfield, but like yeah. the music around here, or is it like you just listen to like whatever's on your like Spotify, Apple, playlist, stuff like that? I keep, I keep, I try to keep my ear to the streets and everything. I mean, I, nice. I, uh, I love all music, um, you know, right now, like out the Bay right now, I like all black. Oh yeah. man, I, I accidentally I, I saw him think, in concert. Uh, I think all yeah. uh, Black Fire, but I'm um a lot of like my favorite MCs is like from the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? That's with me and him. My too, favorite MC is Nas. Oh, there yeah, we go, see there we go. <laughs> like, that's us. Lupe Fiasco. Joey Badass. Joey Badass. Yeah, fire. That's all. That's you all. That's what he's talking about. He knows Eminem. The, Oh, that new album. Oh, my God. He's, he's crazy. disrespecting on there. That's just crazy. <laughs> that, oh, yeah, that was why. Slim Shady. That bro. was Slim Ooh. Shady. A lot of people do not like Ooh. that album. Really? They don't know. Oh, they bugging. Thought, they bugging. I thought, they bugging. I thought, I thought, I thought a lot of people would like, they like it better than the last album. Because that yeah, last like, album like, was something. Yeah, like Revival, something yeah, I wasn't. I didn't really not connect to Revival. But but this one. But this one, I feel a lot more. Yeah. yeah, he was snapping. He was <laughs> one of my, one of my, you know what I'm saying, one of my favorites. That's actually DMX and Eminem was the two CDs my mom ever bought me. Oh, nice. So That's imagine so at like ten years old. DMX? Then there was X album, right? That came out in like what ninety nine, two thousand, or something like that around there. Yeah. And then the Marshall Matters LP. So you get these two different. This this is my that's first. An it's like ass my first. <laughs> <laughs> you get that's the way I am. Yeah. <laughs> And you get what? <laughs> yeah, you get all that yeah. shit. Hell, hella gritty, like so. Yeah. I'm influenced high. by all the <laughs> music, man. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Bro. But you I'm, I'm in tune with everything. Uh, uh, Nathan Farrell going crazy, all black. That's Sob nice. on fire. I mean, right from that Vallejo. You know what I mean? That is so. crazy. That's good that you could like. You have an open up, an open enough mind to be able to like listen to those different types because most of the time it's like a lot of either there's like old heads saying like they don't fuck with the current music or it's people who like only fuck with a certain type of music and they don't like fuck with old school sound or you know they just pick and choose a lot but it's good to be able to listen to all of it 
All of it. You got to. I mean, when you uh, when you do that, you gonna narrow down your creativity. Yeah, right. fuck if you your, your, your vibe. You and everything yeah. isn't for everybody, but right. I feel I like agree. But at the <laughs> right. same time, I feel like you know you can when you give it a listen at least just. Like for example, like like the Migos, right? Yeah. I I fuck with the Migos, tough. Just because I feel like they they started some whole new different shit. They did, facts. right? I give it's it to the Migos, right? I, <laughs> you, I give Migos the credit for that. People kind of bash the Migos, but it's like you got different MCs now mixing what they. I mean, right, so, everybody doing that flow now. Like they turned it's, the ad lib it, to it a whole nother. Yes. That's a whole nother melody. They just they just created a whole nother that's sound like with, their, with their ad libs. Yeah. That shit is crazy. So <laughs> yeah, they did. You, know, you create a movement. Gotta be open. Up. I think them and Future hand in hand. Yep, and Chief, Chief, Keep, bro. Chief, Chief, Chief Keep. Future go crazy. That's crazy. Chief Keep definitely. Yeah, I feel Chief like was like a big part of that whole. So you're before that movement thing, you, of course. Yeah. But like what. But I'm an old head, head, man. Oh, no, but what I'm not old, but what I'm an old head. I know you're not old. <laughs> so, like, that DMX and Eminem influenced you at the beginning, man. Yeah. What are you listening to, like, high school? What you listen to high school? My high school? Yeah. Oh, man. Cassidy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cassidy. I feel that. J.R. Ryder. Uh, Dipset. Hey. Um, Lupe. Shout out. Kanye. Dipset. Um, Kanye. Um, Wayne. When Wayne was really like on, on the mixtapes too. The greatest for Woo! a second. And just click and he's general. For like, a second, now nah, Wayne had it for I a mean, minute. Mar- Mar- Isaiah, me and Isaiah are well known. Lil Wayne, uh, we don't really like like him as much as someone like uh, Ashante. Shout out, Ashante. Shout out Ashante. <laughs> I wonder how he does this with us. He'll be back soon. I do. I, I do Wayne acknowledge his his, one of the goats. his peak greatness. He was there. I I, he was I can't like, deny. He was there when there wasn't a whole lot of good rappers. It was like no. trash hip hop moments, and like he was he was there. Right. Like he bringing was, most of he the. He was heat. way better than Ludacris. Let's say because <laughs> it was like him, Luda. I uh, oh man, see, I'm trying to get to. This. I don't know, man, because Luda. They got different styles, like like Wayne a lyricist, Luda a lyricist. Luda's a lyricist Luda, too. I can't agree with you on that one. What? <laughs> what? Dropping what? Bows. Dropping what? Bows. He he was able to write great songs and be a lyricist. I, I fuck with Luda. He gave he gave us everything. I fuck with Luda for, music, for who he put on. He got what Bieber? He do. Was he did a, not put on he Bieber. Put on Bieber. Was that Akon? No, no. Bro. Usher put on. Usher put on Bieber. That's Usher and um. It was, some, it was Usher and somebody else because I know Usher was his mentor. Like Lady Gaga too or something. All I know is Luda. Akon put on Lady Gaga. Okay, I'm thinking my Akon for Akon, that. Akon. I'm thinking of people, people who put on some other people. Luda was like, like, like Lil Jon and Usher. Ooh, yeah. Luda. I don't know. I don't think he put on Lady Gaga. What? Early Luda? What? I know. I fuck with Luda. Don't I fuck with Luda too, but I'm not going to say a lyricist. You're going to say a lyricist? <laughs> no, nah, I'm going to say he was cool. <laughs> for the early 2000 turn up, <laughs> he like he was like I ain't fucking with it. He you. had the radio, man, I, I stuff, bro. Man, we he, can, fight. he had the radio. You can turn on the radio without two listen, songs. Listen, I just want to say he is a better actor at this point in in his career. He's crazy. He stopped. He, more that, more. he, he stopped. Yeah, he's really kind of stopped doing music and focused on acting. But I hey, think he's making the bands. If though, you went way more bands, he's making way more bands. The Rock, the Rock. Him and and fucking Tyreek. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. Luda, man. I, I feel you, though. But Luda, 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 I got to disagree with you. <laughs> I can't. Luda, Luda, I can't fire, imagine, man. I can't imagine a world where I'm like, Luda up there with somebody, uh, lyrically-wise. I can I can agree that he had a amazing flow that changed a lot of shit for people. Yeah, his but delivery is crazy. His delivery yeah, was yeah, on yeah. point. I can't Dude, deny that. Right. Nobody else really sound like Luda. That's true. That is yeah, true. Yeah. I don't know why people <laughs> like, like yeah, his, his delay is crazy. <laughs> really? Even like the Luda. people from Atlanta don't even sound like Hell Luda. no. Nah. Hell nah. That one dying. This honestly. one is dying. I will say though, now that we mentioned it though, I did for the longest amount of time hold T.I. up to like one of the top five standards though. He was really T.I. hard. Hey. See, I'm going to say, I'm not going to deny T.I. Like I'm not going to deny T.I. I'm not going to deny T.I. I'm not going to deny T.I. That T.I. versus T.I.P., though, that was probably like him in his prime when he was... That was amazing. Mm, yeah, I can't that, lie. that was a good album. Yeah, Three Stacks is just better. <laughs> like, I can't. I can't imagine a world where I'm not there. I can't imagine a world with Three Stacks. A lot of people, yeah, man. Three Stacks special. Three Stacks, man. He's another one. That's true. He one of the legends. Yeah, three, three stacks. I mean, Outkast as a whole. Right, right, right. With the hip hop, with 
Facts. With the, um, just the type of music they uh, made. Uh, this the, the, this the sound. The um, sound. Um, I forget the fucking the name of the album. Equimini? Equimini. Oh, there, we there we go. That shit was beautiful. This off that alone is like, damn. That's crazy how like people can put out such a small amount of music and be like, you're the fucking, you're better than everybody. Imagine that. Again, that's that's no, no album. He has no solo album, but yeah, he's bro. that damn good. <laughs> yeah. He's that damn good. Where like, it's he's like, still going. All like, right, bro. You, you that's be crazy. Better to go. If he does put out a single album, I'm pretty sure he'll kill anything. To to be fair, um, I've heard. Be so dope. I've heard this argument before, and I feel like it kind of makes sense. But like back then, when you had to actually distribute your like cassette tapes and your CDs and stuff, it it felt like more of a priority for people to make their albums into like full like motion Boy, pictures yeah. like they had like mm. intros skits and like outros and now with like soundcloud and stuff it's so easy to just get like your throwaway tracks and yeah. like compile them all onto like a project and release it like, you people would drop like projects like every week you know like it's easy it's i feel ridiculous. like i feel like the fact that it was so hard back then it like a lot more quality went into like making sure that it sounded like definitely more timeless i feel like oh yeah. you can go back to those albums and like replay it you know what i mean i believe 100 percent agree with that shit. yeah this digital age is, is, is interesting it's all about clout now What's Facts. your, what's your SoundCloud for us? Let me know that. Scorpion the Dance MC, man. That's the SoundCloud. I'm on Spotify, oh, no. Scorpion the Dance MC. Apple Music, All title, Amazon, Scorpion the Dance MC. I'll have that up there. Website, I'm Scorpion.com. Instagram, Scorpion Dance MC. Twitter, Scorpion Dance MC. Type in, man. I have all that Everything shit. Everything the same. Everywhere where it matters. Where it matters. Right. Make sure you check Black support. Atlas out too. Black Atlas. Black Atlas. We here, man. Fairfield, stand up, man. It's a Fairfield podcast. Right, we coming you from dig the world. me. And we finna change we the on. game. <laughs> hey, we on. We coming Shout from out. the world, right. man. Like analysts, man. Tap in with them. Shout out the whole Bay Area too. In the whole Bay Area. Straight, straight up. Guys. And straight everybody. Up. Bring Ooh. somebody else here. What? Who's someone we should bring on? Man. You do need to put us on that. I haven't heard of a lot of those people that you mentioned. Um... I know some dancers. I feel like y'all can interview for sure too. Yeah, well, let's get let's get the gang out of here. Bro, let's yeah, get the we, whole we can do that. Get the gang. We can do that. Bro, I got to make this room a little no, bigger. Bro, we go, we take <laughs> we this shit outside. Take this shit outside. We, we, we get the whole squad, so, man. Did they like that one interview we did? My we, boy, um, you know, y'all know Drippy, Miles. Miles, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's little, little bro go crazy. Yeah, okay. man, he made a diss song. Yeah, he dissed us. Shout oh, out to Miles. He dissed us. Shout out to Miles. Thank you guys. It's all love though. Uh, Black Alice, that, come man. back. But that's my little bro fight. That was a that was a while. That was a long ago. We oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could. We could. Not over it, but not over it. I was just saying. Oh, never. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.